Well, Raven Software have definitely been on their A game because we've got another set of patch notes today. And this is the kind of the first time when we're getting regular patch notes fixing issues that we have stated regarding Warzone. If you enjoy Epistat breakdowns, epic comparisons, and overall tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as we try to reach our goal of 50,000 subscribers. And don't forget to click that link in the description down below and subscribe to our second channel as well. But we're going to go through this really quickly because there's a lot in these patch notes to actually get through. So they've changed the ground loot and supply boxes, ground loots and contract rewards. It looks as if they're not likely to change how the loadout system works because if you don't know, previously in Verdanx, the loadout used to drop a lot quicker. You used to be able to buy loadouts um, straight away once you had enough cash, but now you cannot do that in Caldera. So I feel like they're adjusting the ground loot just because of that reason alone and people complaining about it. But again, I do still think I want my loadout a bit earlier in game regardless. So like I said, we'll just need to wait and see how that part plans out and uh, when it comes to bug fixes they've got more collision issues fixed when it comes to shooting through objects and things like that they've got an is issue causing placeholder images to appear uh, in store bundle previews and all that kind of stuff that's kind of happening inside the menus as well for the new christmas event and um, fix an issue with marksman rifle charlie modern warfare where the focus perk would reduce the flinch resistance pretty much making it have no flinch resistance at all so the car 98 now from modern warfare will have a uh, flinch when you do equip the focus perk but it will have less flinch still uh, the type 99 could down players in a one hit to the upper torso so they fixed that as well uh, so this was gonna be quite a lot of big issues when it comes to this game um, then they've got a fix an issue with the PPSH-41 and own gun uh, to deal more damage than they intended. Uh, so this is going to now be nerfed essentially. So we've got actual details of the weapon notes here. So they've actually got some kind of uh, language they use when it comes to what exactly it is they're changing. But I'll explain all that as we're going through it more or less. So assault rifle alpha for vanguard so if i think this is the stg so they've increased the recoil on the stg assault rifle charlie uh, for vanguard i'm not really too sure what uh, assault rifle charlie is i know assault rifle hotel is definitely the automaton this could be the nz i'm not really too sure um it's definitely not the cooper carbine because they actually state that right here with this change so i think it might be the nz i'm not really too sure though uh, with the cooper carbine they have now actually um, the maximum damage range has been decreased, the neck multiplier has also been decreased, the lower torso damage has been decreased, and the recoil has been increased slightly. So they have nerfed the Cooper Carbine, they've nerfed the Automaton, they've nerfed the STG and whatever Assault Rifle Charlie is. Uh, the Volk, they've actually, the neck multiplier has been decreased, the lower torso multiplier has also been decreased as well, and the ADS speed has been decreased as well, so it's slower to ADS now. It's kind of weird though, because not a lot of people actually use the Volk, mainly it's kind of like an SMG for the ground loot type of thing, but no one actually uses this as a long range AR, so I'm quite surprised they actually made this change. For handguns, for the closer, the neck, dam the neck damage multiplier has been decreased, the machine pistol maximum damage range has been decreased, second damage range has also been decreased. I think they need to nerf the damage of the akimbo versions uh, of these pistols, but again, we just need to wait and see if they do change that. Uh, the rat neck, uh, neck damage multiplier has been decreased as well, and then the same for the top break, which is basically the kind of um, snake shot pistols or whatever you want to call it. Again, they should really look into nerfing um, the akimbo versions uh, of these as well. So. Like I said, they're going along the right directions, but we still need to wait and see if they make those uh, other changes as well. But this is still a huge, huge uh, weapon balance. So when it comes to like machine guns, uh, the MG82 recoil dev deviation is increased. So basically they've increased the spread or the kind of randomness of the recoil. Um, so that is going to make it uh, a bit harder to control. The MG42, the ADS speed has been decreased so it's slower now uh, and the recoil has been increased uh, on the black ops cold war mg42 then we have the g43 marksman rifle um and they have recoil adjusted um the g43 so basically they've changed the recoil pattern entirely for this weapon uh, that's what the recoil adjusted means in their language um and we'll just need to wait and see what that was originally i can't even remember no one really used marksman rifles all that much uh, and then this marksman rifle charlie's basically the flinch resistance change to the car 98k uh, from modern warfare by the way we've got shotgun nerves which is definitely what we're all looking for uh, so maximum damage range has been decreased second damage 
damage range has been decreased so you can still get that one shot kill potential with a shotgun uh, more specifically the combat shotgun but the range on it is just nowhere near as far as it used to be i mean 140 units to 150 units it couldn't really be much more than a meter i wouldn't even say it's going to be that it's maybe half a meter uh, of damage distance uh, then we've got the iron horn revolving shotgun as well the damage range and the second damage range was reduced for that as well uh, similarly again um they've reduced the damage range for the first damage range and the second damage range for the gracie auto but also the damage amount they've decreased as well so the third damage amount has been decreased to, from 18 down to 14 and the second damage has been decreased from 22 down to 20 so what this is going to mean is going to take more shots to kill once you're slightly further out so if you're right up in someone's face you're still going to get the same kind of number of shots to kill as you would still at the moment uh, but once you get kind of to those further ranges maybe past 10 meters or so um you will start needing way more shots to kill so it's just kind of balancing the shotguns out making them good at close range only uh sniper rifles the three line rifles so basically essentially uh change the damage profile so it's no longer a one shot kill to the chest because obviously that is pretty damn broken if you ask me uh, i know it's kind of weird but they could add in a sniper like that in the game uh, they just need to make sure it's really slow and balanced in other ways but like I said, so the three line rifle maximum damage has been uh, increased from 95 up from 92. So they've increased the damage on this gun. Minimum damage, which is the longer range damage, has been increased as well. So I don't really see how this is a nerf, which is kind of weird. Uh, neck damage multiplier has been decreased. So the neck damage has been decreased. Uh, lower torso multiplier has been decreased um, as well. Then the upper extremities damage multipliers have been decreased as well and the ads speed has been increased so it's made it a faster ads so that's definitely a huge benefit i hope they do this with all uh, the vanguard snipers just make the ads's just a little bit quicker now they have increased the overall damage of the weapon so this is going to be like the torso damage so that is pretty cool um so i'm not too sure how this is going to not make this weapon a one-shot kill because this is the one that actually got a one-shot kill to the upper chest so like i said we'll just need to wait and see how this actually plays out Grenko tank rifle no one really uses this to be perfectly honest but again the damage has been decreased for this gun the damage range has actually been increased for the weapon which is actually pretty good is almost over double so you'll still get that kind of higher faster ttk at those longer ranges neck multiplier has been decreased and bullet velocity has been increased by 22 percent which is a, a good bonus bullet velocity is always good for sniper rifles uh flinch resistance um is increased by 19 percent on the vanguard car 98 Flint resistance has been increased by 19% on the Swiss, so the Swiss can come back out of the meta now. Um, so the overall adjustment to the change would be about a 15% increase to the flinch resistance on the Swiss. Um, and you can obviously use the flinch resistance perk on the Modern Warfare Car 98K. So both of these weapons will start coming into the mix again. So you'll definitely see a lot more Swisses and Car 98s Modern Warfare version. Uh, the Type 99, that damage has been increased again. Uh, so just making these vanguard sniper rifles feel a bit better i feel like they're trying to make these sniper rifles slow and more powerful i think that's the idea behind them but like i said we'll just need to wait and see uh, minimum damage has been increased as well multiplier for the neck has been decreased though so that's what they changed uh, then when it comes to submachine guns uh, the own gun recoil adjusted so that means the recoil has been changed entirely ppsh 41 recoil adjusted that means the recoil patterns changed entirely sten the recoil has been adjusted so the recoil patterns changed entirely and the same with the submachine gun charlie for vanguard which i'm not really too sure what this is this could actually be uh the mp is not the mp40 because the mp40 is submachine gun alpha uh, from vanguard so I'm not really too sure what this might be. It might be the uh, Tommy gun, actually. So, also with the Sten, actually, they changed the ADS movement speed uh, and slowed this gun down. So, this gun probably moved a lot quicker. I never really used the Sten all that much. So, uh, we'll need to wait and see what they change there. This is actually the Tommy gun. So, they changed the recoil on the Tommy gun. So, I don't know what this gun is. I can't remember what the last uh, SMG is. But they did adjust this so this is the tommy gun change as well movement speed has been decreased which is a bit annoying as i really do like good movement speeds ads movement speed has been decreased as well so that's kind of a shame because i do like fast movement speeds with smgs so when it comes to attachments they actually did change uh, the akimbo pistols here so with the shot shell which is obviously part of the uh, attachments for the akimbo uh, 
new snake shots, the Vanguard snake shots, whatever you want to call them. Uh, the maximum damage has been decreased from 25 down to 18. The second damage has been decreased from 15 down to 14. The damage range has also been decreased. The second damage range has also been decreased. So this should nerf these guns uh, pretty hard in my opinion. The gun perk, so steady. Firing movement speed multiplier has been decreased. Oh, that's kind of annoying. I really do like these perks. Uh, and ADS firing movement speed multiplier has been decreased as well. Um, so that's a shame because I do like the kind of movement speed attachments on SMGs and stuff. So it's kind of a bit weird. Uh, when it comes to magazines, three line, three line rifle magazine capacity has been increased for the 7.62 mags. And Car 98 magazine capacity has been increased for the 8mm mags. And that is the patch notes for this patch. So if you enjoyed this video, learned something new, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as we try to reach our goal of 50,000 subscribers. Also click the link in the description and subscribe to our second channel. And thank you very much for watching.